Shep is an astronomer at the Haystack Observatory near Boston. But the 37-metre telescope here simply isn't big enough to photograph the black hole at the centre of our galaxy. To do that, Shep needs a telescope with 100,000 times the resolution. And that requires a dish 4,500 kilometres across, roughly the size of the continental United States. To observe the object that we're after, we have to create a telescope that can see finer details than any other telescope in the history of astronomy. The reason you haven't heard about this massive telescope is because it only exists in Shep's computer. He hooked up radio telescopes from across the continent, effectively to produce one giant virtual dish. The way a normal telescope works is it focuses all the light because of its particular shape into a single focal point. When you link telescopes around the world together, we don't have a lens. We have to do it in a supercomputer here in Massachusetts. Shep's supercomputer, the Correlator, pieces together the raw data from all his separate telescopes to build up a computer-generated dish the size of America. The level of detail you can see with a single dish is limited by the size of that dish. But when you link telescopes around the world together, something magic happens. You create a virtual dish that's as big as the distance between those dishes. And that gives you a level of detail that's 1,000 times finer than you can get with a single dish. Instead of creating pictures, each of Shep's telescopes produces reams upon reams of data. And this is where we keep all of the data when it comes back from the telescopes. Each of these contains eight very large hard disk drives. And when you have two modules together, that contains as much data as the US Library of Congress, which is the largest library in the world. And we have, on these shelves, about 64 such libraries. The amount of data is just staggering, really. Uh, we spend a lot of money in this project on disk drives. There's so much data. Processing just a few nights observations takes months. Hey, Mike, what's, uh, what's the latest from the correlator? Uh, actually, a lot of uh, interesting things from last night. Uh, you've got a full uh, hour of direct detections on the galactic center. Uh, oh, these are great. Perfectly clear. With these no... are great. It looks like this is going to be a great data set. That's right. What about the other baselines? Great. Okay, that's excellent. Yeah. That is just excellent. Yeah. That's with zeros. That's with yeah. no corrections. So that's that... beautiful. That yeah. is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of confidence we'll be able to do what we want to do. Despite producing all this data, Shep doesn't yet have enough telescopes linked together to build up a full image. Yeah, so this is, this is a great data set. This is, I'm very, very happy with this. But this year, he might be able to detect our first glimpse of something that has until now eluded us, the shadow of the event horizon. If someone were to say to me, well, that's impossible, you can't do it, I would say that's our job. Our job is to try to see things that can't be seen, to try to do things that are great challenges. The reason that we're interested in this is quite frankly because it's hard. And if you'd asked me five years ago if it was possible, I flatly would have said no.